How's it going guys and welcome back to the False Tech YouTube channel. Um, so um, there's a big thing that happened Wednesday for some of you that have the early update. Um, I'm not at liberty to say whether or not I received it due to the um, agreement that we all make when we sign up for these type of things. Under the what's new button there's a agreement that basically says you shouldn't share this particular update with the public. It should be shared only with private but I see that the update information has gotten out. So I want to talk about it. Um, again, uh, I'm not at liberty to say whether or not I got this update due to the agreement, but Nvidia Shield Android TV gets Shield Experience 7.1. Now, why is that important? It is important because it came with Nvidia Share as well as 120 Hertz support. For gamers, this is a huge, huge step back forward from the recent update. Many of us, many of you have updated to the latest version and lost a feature that we all loved, cared, and used quite often. And that was the NVIDIA Share. Um, so this is, the this is by the way, this source is from hdadevelopers.com. This is not something I wrote. I have nothing to do with this article. So um, I'm in no way should perform breaking my terms of agreement. But I do want to just share this article here. So the, this Shield Experience 7.1 is beginning to roll out for NVIDIA Shield TV owners in the closed preview program. I will add this is the private program, but we'll continue. As you can see, private early access. Um, looks like they took out the part that talks about where it shouldn't be shared. Or it may be above that. But if we scroll down, um, this YouTube user, I'm not going to play this. But basically, he demonstrates the um, NVIDIA Shield Share uh, feature. And basically, it's from what he demonstrated, again, I'm not at liberty to say whether or not I can use this or not, but he demonstrated the um, old share feature that was in previous versions where you have, you have the uh, recording, you have the broadcast, as well as the screenshot. You can stream to Twitch. So all that from this update from this website shows that it will be there. So yeah. That's what I wanted to share. I know this is a very short video. This is not like the norm. But again, this is just a pop-up video that I wanted to share with you guys. So according to HDA, according to the 7.1 preview that they have here, have a screenshot of NVIDIA Share. And once it's enabled, we'll give you the access back to using the um, broadcast, streaming, as well as recording. I am, I'm not confirming this nor am I confirming whether or not I got this update, but it is there. It also goes through other things. Um, again, this is not my source. This is HDA source. All right, guys, so that's all I wanted to share with you. I know this is a short video again, but um, yeah, big things are coming to the Shield. I'm excited. Uh, this is definitely revitalizing the gaming community back with NVIDIA Shield. Stay tuned for more information on updates on the Shield, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.